Jupiter Hotel, the Douglas Fir, Doug Fir, whatever the fuck the place is called, in Portland, Oregon, one of the greatest cities on the planet Earth. It is my absolute pleasure to say that Harmontown is now in session. Let's welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you. I immediately started crying. I walked out of the stage and started crying. Why? I think it's because I'm drunk. I, I, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's not because it's not, it's not tonight's important. Uh, why? why are there, no one's... Uh, there are people in the world with leukemia. Why am I crying? Uh, I, I'm crying because uh, your donuts are great. You're a great city. Uh, how, how many of you are here that live in Portland? <laughs> See, a lot of times, Jeff, when we go to other cities, we go like, like, like well, who, who, who here is from uh, Poughkeepsie? And then like, there's like eight people go like, I'm here. And then the rest of the people are like, I drove here from L.A. <laughs> because they hate Poughkeepsie. Portland. Like, That's people, a long drive. People too. love being in Portland. They fucking love it. It, uh, it, it is a great town. Like we, we, I got asked by, uh, what's the guy's name, Andy, who, uh, who's running this thing? Uh, yeah, he said, uh, do, you, do you want to come do this festival? And I said, yes, can I be there for three days instead of one? Like, 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 we just, like, I'd rather be in Portland than not be in Portland. It's a yeah, great, I, it's a great I, I, sc- I scheduled extra days, too. And I, 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 for Aaron's sake, I said, well, I'll, I'll stay till uh, Sunday, and I'm not going to do any other shows other than Harmontown. Aaron will appreciate that. And then I went, it was like gift of the... Like uh, UCB workshop magi, that I I said uh, I'm not doing any shows except theirs, and she's like I'm doing nine shows a day. <laughs> if you if you'd like to see Aaron McGathy uh, this weekend in Portland, uh, uh, just yeah. swing a cat. Yeah. And <laughs> tr- try not to. She is in every fucking show uh, this side of Seattle. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You don't have to have a response to that. All right, let's get let's get on track. Let's. Let, I don't want to f- have a sloppy show tonight. You've paid a lot of money. I am not drunk. I, I didn't do anything wrong. You're, you're drunk as a fucking fiddler right now. <laughs> so drunk. He's lying. You, you He's were, I, I met you for breakfast. You were drunk when you showed up for breakfast. <laughs> it's a, well. I was hungover. We were all hungover. We all we all we all know what happened yesterday. <laughs> We all got drunk. So then when you're hungover, you drink through it. You don't, you don't go like, oh, I'm hungover. I'm not going to drink ever again. That's rookie bullshit. That will take you straight to AA. That's for quitters. It's an old stand-up joke. AA is for quitters. Uh, I'm wearing, uh, we went to Mary's Strip Club today. I, I, I yeah. I, I made I made Dan and Aaron. Uh, I, I had breakfast at Mother's, which is too crowded now. Uh, yeah, and, and then uh, I went to Huber's to have a Spanish coffee. But I, but Huber's fucking good. But I didn't have a Spanish coffee. I had a Manhattan, and then three more, uh, <laughs> with a couple of people named uh, Tina and Dirk. And if uh, God, I hope they're listening at some point in the future, because they were hilarious. And then you guys rolled in, and then I made Dan and Aaron go to Mary's uh, Mary's Club. Which is, I, I think, uh, a Portland institution. Not, not, uh, not that I'm, I'm a, a strip club enthusiast necessarily, but you kind of have to go there because it's so good. I think you, you have to be a strip club enthusiast to go to any strip club. <laughs> it's a, the, you, you have to be into Legos to buy a Lego box, right? <laughs> You, you, you don't just go like, oh, that looks interesting. Blocks that connect. Yeah, but, but, uh, but, but, you, you but, can't you can't like walk in off the street into a strip club and be like, well, oh, cool. Like you you have to be like a fucking aficionado. No, because you, because you don't. You go there because uh, the girls that work there. It's so small, and there's like weird theater seating. There's like two rows of theater seats, and you can buy a drink and. P at the same time. Like, it's so small. That's not... He's selling that like it's like a big I, I'm just saying, positive thing. Ge- geographically... If you can drink and pee in the same place, that's but, not... But the girls all have uh, ill-advised tattoos, and they get up there, and there's a jukebox on stage. And when they go on stage, they put a couple dollars in, and they play fucking Tom Waits and shit. Like, and they're... Like, like, 
Well, let's see you tonight on a downtown train. And, and, and they're taking their clothes off, and then their butt cheeks are doing weird yoga shit. It's fucking. Yeah, and they flex. Their, they do like the tiny Lister Junior thing with their <laughs> boobs, where they you flex the pack. You don't go there. Like the Mister Universe thing. thing with the boobs, but they have boobs, so they're like 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 uh, Jim Henson workshop kind of <laughs> character. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Uh, it's. I, I, I'll tell you what it isn't. It's I mean, not sexy. Tell, and I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I, like, here's the, the conversation that happened on the sidewalk after we went in there for a drink. This is the classic conversation that a lot of people have. Aaron turned to me and Jeff and said, "So, do you guys have boners?" <laughs> and I immediately went, which is the truth. I'm like, no, absolutely not. My penis is retracted into my abdomen because I was in a place of grief. Um. And then, and then Aaron goes, "Oh, what? You didn't think those girls were attractive?" Uh, <laughs> I, like, 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 I don't. It's a my fucking minefield. I don't get it, and I don't know what my role is. I don't know how to be a feminist. I don't know how to be a masculinist uh, in a strip club. I don't know what you do. When I walk not, into a strip club, what I typically find is that it's dead silent. <laughs> And that there's a woman on stage and that she's doing this stuff and she seems like a good person. I, the, 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 the odd thing about this place is that the, cl- the quarters are so close and it was so quiet that you could really – you were really intimately acquainted uh, with the performers. Uh, and what I mean by that is that a woman would finish doing uh, booby, booby wiggles <laughs> and then she would go over to a three-ring binder and while leafing through it would say to the guy to her left – Hey, Glenn, what do you like? Do you, uh... And he would go like, I don't know. I'm so... Uh, the traffic was so hard on the 110 today. And she'd be like, yeah, well, you should always take Fountain. Uh, like... This is L.A. traffic speak, but I'm just saying, like, she was, like, talking. She was like, did you see Hannibal last night? It was, like, good. And I, and I think that's... From a human perspective, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah. But from a regular perspective, it's weird because now I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand my role. If you what you said, you said Jeff. You said uh, you can just go in there and hang out. I said if I go up to the uh, rail in a strip club. And I start just talking loudly about how I think Parks and Rec is cheating because they can cut to uh, uh, people explaining jokes. Like, if I'm just like explaining, like, yeah, I think it's a mockumentary, it's, like, it's overblown. I get it, Ricky Gervais did it for six episodes, but it was part of the story. Was, uh, and then you adopted it into America, and it was a capitalist, a storyteller for money. <laughs> Behind me is going to have a right to go, hey, f- sh- fuck off. What are you doing in a strip club? And I'm going to go, I don't know. I don't know why I'm in a strip club. It's not to get a boner. It's not, it's not for her. It's not for me. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I don't know whose side I'm on. I don't, she's empowered. I'm empowered. We're all empowered. I don't know what the fuck's going on in here. Let's just take off my clothes. Or just roll around and like, like throw money in the air and what, eat what, tacos. What? I don't know what the 